Hi, I'm Melody, and welcome to the SEALS Step Access Center. Today we're talking to Laura about independent learning. So Laura, what is independent learning? Independent learning is when you take responsibility for your own education. Okay, and why is this important? It's really important because schools, frankly, can't teach you everything. And every student wants to learn something a little bit different. They have different interests, different strengths, different weaknesses. So this is an opportunity for you to think about what you need to learn and what you're interested in learning so that you can be successful academically. And it's something that will also come in handy in your future when you're in the professional world and you're still trying to learn things on your own. Ah, so this sounds kind of like a lot of work. So how do you go about this? Well, the most important thing to do when you start is to consider what your needs are. Where are your strengths and where are your weaknesses? and how can you target those weaknesses and create a step-by-step -step plan to improve on them. And how can the Self Access Center help with this? Well, in the SAC, there are tutors who are experts in independent learning. So you can come in and talk to them about what your interests are and where you think your needs are, and they can help show you some resources or come up with some ideas of activities that you can do that are not only going to be more interesting than simply looking at a textbook, but also can really help you achieve your goals. Okay. And I saw that you brought this independent learning passport. Will this take me to another country? <laughs> Not exactly, <laughs> but this is a really good resource for you to keep track of all the independent learning you've been doing. If you flip through the passport, you can see that in the front, there are some pages where you can write down what your goals are, what you want to achieve from your independent learning process. There are also pages where you can record all the activities you've been doing on your own time as well as visits to the self-access center or the speaking and writing tutorial services. So here you'll have a record of everything you've been doing on your independent learning. Oh, that sounds really helpful, I think. So any other final comments about independent learning? Yeah, I think one thing that I forgot to mention is that the Passport is also a great way for you to reflect on what you've been doing with independent learning, which is a really important part of the process. Because sometimes when you're in the middle of your plan, you might come to realize that you're not really achieving the goals that you wanted to or that your goals have changed. So it's important to step back and think about what you're trying to do and whether you're getting closer to it so that you can tailor your objectives to really meet your goals. And one final question. Is independent learning something you can do one week in one week? or Independent learning is something that you do over the long term. You can learn a lot more if you spend half an hour per week for the entire semester than if you spend an entire Sunday the day that it's due just trying to come up with some evidence. So really take your time with it and make sure that you give yourself an opportunity to make the most of your independent learning experience. It sounds like a really good way to practice your independent learning and your English skills. So thank you, Laura, for talking to us today and hopefully see you again soon. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.